Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. You guys, it is that time of the year for the mother freaking best skincare of 2022. It is here. I can't believe it's the end of 2022. I don't want to think about it too much because otherwise I'll get depresso. Well, that's kind of a 24 seven thing. If you haven't seen my best of skincare series in the past, at the end of every year, I round up all of the skincare that I have tried over the course of the year and choose which ones are the best of the best. The piece de resistance. Most mind blowingly good skincare and share all of them with you. And especially nowadays where I'm consistently disappointed with the selection of skincare products out there, I get so excited to recommend you guys the best of the best, the products that I've used where I was like, holy shit, I might actually be in love. F it, I am in love. Oh my God. I just realized you can see my nipples. I just looked in the mirror. Have my nipples been showing the whole time? Not for free. You gotta pay my OnlyFans monthly fee to see these knockers. In low lighting, you can't see my nipples, but wow, you can definitely see them now. Apologies for flashing all you guys. That was not my intention. Unless you're into that, then pay up, bitch. <laughs> anyway, in this video, I'm going to be sharing the best cleansing balms and cleansing oils from 2022. And this is the first time I've ever done this type of video for the Best Stuff series because I've always stuck with like the top four products, cleanser, serum, moisturizer, sunscreen. But God damn it, I just found Found too many amazing cleansing balms and cleansing oils that I absolutely have to share with you guys. And so get ready to see the best ones. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to see every single step of the skincare routine and what my top picks are for this entire year. And all the products that I talk about in today's video will be listed in the description box below. If you are interested in purchasing any of these, please feel free to use the links down below. I make a small commission from them. And honestly, it would mean a lot considering I've tested out so many freaking products, struggled with so many breakouts and sensitivity reactions in order to find the best product recommendation recommendations for you guys, but no pressure whatsoever. They're always just there as a reference. All right, let's just get into this shit. So I'm gonna be listing these products from my least favorite of my favorites from my, wait, what am I saying? My least favorite of my favorites to my top favorites of my favorites. Yeah, that was a fail. The girls that get it, get it. First up on the list, we're gonna be starting with one of the bougiest skincare products I've ever used. And for so long, I resisted liking this product because I just wanted to hate it. But God damn it, I could not help myself. It is so good. It is the very famous Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I remember this was recommended to me and I was like, holy shit, that is so expensive for a cleansing balm. Like really? But I really liked the ingredients and I liked that it was free of polyethylene. Oh, that's one thing I should mention. All the cleansing balms and oils that I'm featuring in today's video are free of polyethylene, which is a common plastic that is used in cleansing balm to give it a nice slip, but has potential risk for polluting waterways and the ocean. So I just avoid it altogether. I was like, okay, I really like the ingredients. Once I started using it, I was blown away at how well it performs on the skin and how long it lasts. I think that was the biggest thing for me was seeing how a little bit goes a very long way with this product. And with the amount of time it takes to get through one of these, it kind of equates out to what the price of an average cleansing balm would be. And it just feels amazing on the skin. It's so rich and nourishing, but it doesn't leave behind like a film or a residue that drives me crazy with so many cleansing balms. It really washes off well and feels like a very nice, luxurious experience. Okay, next up is one that took me a little bit by surprise because I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. The Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. As Glow Recipe has been releasing more products, a lot of them I've really been enjoying because they really align with my ingredient philosophy. And with this one, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see how I like it. Oh my gosh, the texture and consistency of this, as well as how it applies on the face is absolutely amazing. It does such a dreamy good job of removing all the sunscreen and dirt and oil on the face, but still rinses off really easily. One of the main reasons I like this one is because it does include the ingredient papaya, which is a great gentle enzymatic exfoliator to get dead skin cells off the face. Now, is this necessarily an exfoliating product? I wouldn't say that necessarily, but with the gentle papaya, it can have a very minimal and gentle effect of exfoliation as you're using it. Plus it includes really cool ingredients like elderberry oil and starflower oil, which I rarely see in skincare products. And overall it gives you a really rich nourishing experience. I would say this one's better for people more on the normal to dry skin side, but personally I have oily skin and I really enjoyed using this and I think it's one of the best of the year. Next is one that I consistently used for the first six months of this year before going out and trying a bunch of other ones, but it still remains one of my top picks and probably the most affordable one on this list, the Bad Habit Beauty Acai Cleansing Balm. I wish I had it with me, but I accidentally left it in 
Hawaii. I'm currently in Colorado right now, and no matter where I looked, I could not find it in the stores, so I'm so sorry, but I've repurchased this one multiple times. It is super good for the price point. When it comes to cleansing balms, I found that a lot of the cheaper ones tend to not be the most enjoyable of experiences. Oftentimes they leave a film or residue on the skin that is very frustrating to try and get off and just kind of ruins the whole experience. But the Acai Cleansing Balm is a really nice experience. It does a great job of breaking up everything on my face. You do have to use a little bit more than you do the other ones that I mentioned in this video, but at the same time, it's such a good price point that it doesn't really bother me. It's a simple, good formula that gets the job done and I've reached for it so many times this year, I can't even count. It's a really good formula. Next up is a product that was your guys' favorite based off the data that I was able to collect. You guys seem to be obsessed with this product and I am similarly obsessed as well. It is the Peach and Lily Ginger Oil Melt Cleanser. Now this product is probably the most recent addition to my favorites and let me tell you why. The founder of Peach and Lily, Alicia, invited me into her office in New York and she gave me a facial using Peach and Lily products and she started off with this one and I immediately asked, I was like, whoa, what is this product? It feels amazing on the skin. It does such a good job of breaking up everything. And she told me it was the ginger melt and that they actually have a really hard time keeping it in stock and now I totally understand why after seeing how much you guys have loved it. I will admit when it comes to cleansing balms versus cleansing oils, I rarely prefer a cleansing oil over a balm solely because they tend to be a lot messier. Oils tend to get everywhere and like run down my arms, but I've never had the experience with this one. One of the reasons I love it is because it includes ginger, which has amazing benefits for the skin. And it's based in sunflower seed oil and grapeseed oil. Sunflower seed oil being one of the best oils in my opinion for use as a first cleanse. It's very high quality. And when I see a product primarily using sunflower seed oil, I'm like, ooh, they are putting in the work. This one is such a good experience. I loved seeing how much you guys enjoyed it. And I have to say, I'm totally on board with all of you guys. This one was incredible. And now we get into the top three products, the best of the best. And one of them I have never talked about on my channel before. It is brand new. Consider this the premiere, darling. First up is one that I was determined to not like because I like so many products from this brand, but I ended up using it so many times. I purchased my second bottle and just fell in love with it. It is the Use to the People Super Berry Dream Cleansing Balm. This one is just so good, guys. It's definitely a very rich consistency and I would say works best if you have more dry skin. And I've typically used this while I'm here in Colorado where it is very dry and there's not much moisture in the air. But wow, is it an amazing experience. My skin feels so nourished every time I use this product. It does a really good job of removing everything from the skin, but my skin always looks so glowy afterwards and just feels so pumped up of moisture. Pumped up, <laughs> well. It is really good. Yes, it is a little bit more on the pricey side and I know that I purchased my second one, but I have used this one pretty generously. I won't lie. I'll be honest, every time I use this one, I was like, you know what, Hiram, you don't have to use that much on your skin, but I just enjoyed this formula so much that I ended up using more than I probably needed to. But one of the main reasons I like this one is because it's chock full of really good ingredients. It has oil soluble hyaluronic acid as well as moringa seed oil, which is very rare to find in skincare products, but specifically cleansing balms. It has jojoba seed oil as well as prickly pear, a really cool ingredient that use of the people has been using more often, as well as acai, maki, and goji berries, all of which are very rich in antioxidants. It's just an ingredient list that really impressed me because of how many things it has. Is it a little bit luxury? Yes, but I also really like this one because of the glass packaging. It makes it easily reusable for like reusable cotton rounds or accessories or jewelry. Just a great product overall. Next is one that will come as absolutely no surprise to anyone because I talk about it every single freaking time I talk about cleansing balms. The Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. I... <sighs> I feel like I'm just repeating myself so many times when I talk about this product. I can't tell you how many people in my life I have gotten hooked on this product. Once people start using this cleansing balm, they rarely go back to using any other ones because it is just that incredible. I always say it's like a mango smoothie for the face. It feels amazing. It spreads so easily across the skin. It's by far one of the most enjoyable experiences when it comes to a cleansing balm. It leaves the skin super nourished and hydrated, but not overly nourished. Considering how rich of a consistency this is, I honestly wouldn't consider it to be more for dry dry skin. I would consider this to work well for any skin type. And I've used this product for years now. I cannot sing enough praises to it. It's just that incredible of a formula. It primarily uses sea buckthorn oil as well as vitamin E, grapeseed oil, and of course mango. Just, uh, I am in a spicy relationship with this product. I love it. But this might come as a surprise for you guys because that may not be my favorite product of this year. My favorite first cleansing product is actually one that I only started using, I think like two months ago and was just immediately obsessed with, just absolutely in love with. And I struggle to say if it's my top favorite because I don't know how you can top the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm, but this one is giving it a run for its money. It is the Crave Beauty Makeup Rewind Transforming Jelly Oil Cleanser. This is so freaking good. I have no words for how good this product is. 
I was sent this by Crave Beauty because one of my close friends is Leah Yu, the founder of Crave Beauty. And y'all already know, I am freaking addicted to Crave Beauty. Every single product release that they make, I'm just like, how do you release perfection every single time? But I was very hesitant to use this one because I was like, you know what? Oil cleansers aren't always my thing. I don't love how messy they are. I'm such a whore for cleansing balms. Am I actually really gonna like this? But I finally tried it and you guys, I've been using this daily, every single day for the past two months and I'm just hooked on it. Like I can't stop using it. It is the perfect blend of the benefits of an oil cleanser with the benefits of a balm. It's so lightweight on the skin and really easy to spread across the surface of your skin, but does an incredible job of just breaking up all that extra oil and sunscreen that builds up. Because I have oily skin, I get a lot of buildup on my skin throughout the day. It is really cute. <laughs> At the beginning of the day, my nose will be soft as a baby's butt, but by the end of the day, it literally feels like I'm rubbing sandpaper. That's how gritty it gets. I know it's super hot, but this one just immediately breaks down all that oil on my skin, but it's so lightweight and effortless that it honestly doesn't feel like an oil or a balm. It feels like its own unique formulation that I have not seen before. I have never tried a product like this one, and I feel like it is truly innovative, not only in the ingredients that it uses, it primarily utilizes upcycled grapeseed oil as well as sunflower seed oil and vitamin E, but the experience speaks for itself and it's such a good price point for how much you're getting. Like I said, I've used this every day for the past two months and I think I'm like halfway through the bottle. I know no one is surprised because it's Crave Beauty and I just love everything from them, but Leah you, you did it again, goddammit. I'm just obsessed. This one is so amazing. And those are all of 2022's best cleansing balms and cleansing oils. I had so much fun trying all of these and figuring out which ones were the best. I wish you guys could see how many products I tried that did not make it onto this list because bruh, there are so many. If this isn't enough to convince you to try a cleansing balm or cleansing oil, I don't know what is because literally these products changed my life. They're so good. Like I said before, all the products will be linked in the description box below if you do wanna purchase them and support the channel. And make sure you subscribe so you can see all the rest of the best of 2022 videos that are gonna be coming out very, very soon. Make sure you go on over to Spotify to check out my new podcast called Just a Position where we talk about mental health, vulnerability, and personal life journeys with creators you know and love. And you guys, I am so stoked to start out this series. I hope you join the journey. I can't wait to share all the rest of my favorite products from this year. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Let's get into the juicy stories. And one of the things I was able to attend while there in the village right next to us was a circumcision ceremony. At the point of the ceremony, these boys who had been circumcised 30 days prior had spent the entire 30 days in the dark of the huts, healing and recovering from the procedure before at the ceremony being paraded out in front of the entire village as a celebration of their manhood. Before you're just like, what the heck? That is so weird, circumcision ceremony. There's a lot of things that are really fucking weird about our own culture that I think might need a little bit of reflection too. 